It's always a dream of many Filipinos to migrate to Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. For some, it's difficult to realize, but for the Visa Center, they find it fast and easy. Their successful clients can vouch for their services. Kung gusto niyo pong magpa-assess going to Canada or Australia, punta lang po kayo sa Visa Center and we guarantee na legit po sila and tutulungan po nila kayo. Mga friends ko na gusto mag-apply, nire-recommend po ang Visa Center. In-encourage ko kayo lahat, dito na kayo magpa-assess. Talagang matutupad lahat ng pangarap niyo dito. Yung uh, the Visa Center, uh, in-introduce sa amin ng uh, ninang namin at saka ng anak niya. So kaya nalaman namin yung why the Visa Center? The founder has more than 20 years of hands-on experience in processing different visa applications for Canada and Australia. It has licensed immigration consultants for both Canada and Australia and are members of Immigration Consultants of Canada Regulatory Council and Australia's Migration Agent Registration Authority. The Visa Center can make your dreams a reality. It has flexible payment schemes, transferable applications, no contract expirations, free consultation services, and as many branches to serve you. So when you're thinking of migrating to Canada, New Zealand, and Australia, let the experts do it for you. Call the Visa Center. As an international student in Australia, you get to enjoy their fantastic climate and quality of life. Meet new friends, explore new places, and new culture. You also get to improve your language skills and have an internationally recognized qualification. Being an international student allows you to gain extra points to qualify for permanent resident application. That's right, the student visa program can be your pathway to securing a work permit and permanent residency in Australia. After your study, you may qualify for postgraduate visa and work unlimited number of hours after completing at least two years. You and your spouse can work part-time for up to 20 hours a week and unlimited number of hours during semester breaks. Your partner can also work unlimited number of hours if the primary visa holder has commenced a course towards master's degree or doctorate degree. Shape a better future for you and your family today. Become an international student in Australia. The Visa Center. Shaping a better future. trabaho, mag-aral, o dalhin ang inyong pamilya sa Canada o Australia? The Visa Center has more than 20 years of expertise when it comes to visa processing. They have branches in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and here in the Philippines. So what are you waiting for? Call the Visa Center now! Okay, so hello guys. Good afternoon sa lahat ng mga viewers natin dyan sa Middle East. And of course, ayan, good afternoon. Good morning pala sa Middle East kasi maaga pa pala sa Middle East ngayon. And of course, good afternoon sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa atin dito sa Pilipinas. Ayan, so welcome to our Friday edition of the Visa Center Facebook Live with Q&A. And syempre, ang target naman natin ngayon is for those who would like to study ayan, in Australia but as an international student, you are allowed guys to work, okay? You may even bring your family if you wanted to, all right? So malalaman natin ngayon some of the information pa, lalo na mga, mga first-time viewers natin sa ating Facebook Live. This is your opportunity, guys, to ask question directly now to our school partner because we will be joined later on by the Business Relationship Coordinator of Australian Institute of Workplace uh, Training, okay? So, we will find out why the location is really good, okay? Uh, we will also find out uh, how beautiful their programs are. Uh, is there some programs that are uh, can actually help you with your plan of, let's say, uh, continuing your application for permanent residency 
Yan, standby po kayong lahat dyan. Of course, at the second half of our Facebook Live, and matutulungan naman tayo no, ng uh, ating uh, immigration consultant. From our Bulacan branch, we have si Daniel uh, Bautista later on. So, standby po kayong lahat ha. Kaya sa mga viewers po natin, feel free guys to share our Facebook Live para po no, uh, mapanood nyo. You will learn from our session today. Kaya alam natin, excited na ang lahat. And syempre, acknowledge natin lahat ng team ng The Visa Center na 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 tumutulong sa atin ngayon. Okay? So, here we have some uh, of our few uh, first commenters. Kal to Elda O. You're interested. I believe you're, you're non-Filipino. Thank you. Hope you, you, you can, uh, what is this? You can stay in our Facebook Live. But if you have a question, feel free to ask a question. I'll give you an answer in English, right? And also, we have Butch Limos. Good morning. We are your client waiting for my wife's final interview. Ayan. So, ito siguro, no, si Butch Limos. Uh, I'm sure yung wife niya is, I believe, nasa AIP. Ayan. Kasi, guys, para sa mga viewers po natin, just for your information, uh, we're offering uh, pathways, no, going to Australia and Canada. So, definitely for for Canada kasi we're offering AIP. So, we have this uh, employer-driven pathway where you get a job at the same time, a permanent residency offer, two in one, okay? But for today, ang focus po natin is to become an international student in Canada with EIWT, okay? So, alam ko guys, everybody are excited, especially sa mga first time na nanonood sa atin. Any questions, any clarifications, feel free to write in our comment section because at the end of the presentation of our special guest, and we will... Uh, Focus on all of your questions, okay? We will definitely going to answer all of your questions. We are here to give you answers, okay? Kaya stand by lang po kayong lahat dyan. So ito na, before I'm going to introduce our special guest, I'm going to just share this one video of our branches in the Philippines. So after this, uh, we will have our special guest, okay? Please watch this. Welcome to the Visa Center Batangas! back dito sa The Visa Center live kayo sa lahat ng mga viewers po natin. Ito, nasa lahat ng mga gusto pong pumunta ng Australia ha. Uh, there are so many reasons why Filipino love to move in Australia. It's simply because, number one, yung time zone natin is almost the same or sometimes the same. Okay, number two, the, the weather is almost the same in the Philippines. Plus, syempre, if you wanted to go back home, yung ticket price, di ba? <laughs> Hindi siya sobrang mahal. Okay? It's very really just near in the Philippines. So, it's really good that we can sometimes visit uh, Philippines and go back to, to Australia. And then, of course, ito na guys, the fastest way to enter Australia is 
to become an international student. And we are going to introduce now our special guest. We have Sir Alex Wang, Business Relationship Coordinator of EIWT or Australian Institute of Workplace Training. So Sir Alex, how are you? Hello, hello, boss. Hello, Juni. Um, hello, everyone. Um, this is Alex from AWC. Mm. Okay, Very just for everybody's information, yeah, yeah, for for everybody's information, guys. I'm 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 very excited with this Facebook Live because we got the chance to meet uh, Sir Alex and of course Miss Yvonne in the Philippines before our Facebook Live. So we have that connection already, and we 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 little understand about EIWT already. So, Sir uh, Sir Alex. Uh, before you start with your presentation, can, can you tell us more about what the situation of uh, of students in Australia now? Uh, is there some changes, for example, when it comes to their work? Uh, what is this? number of time allowed to work as part timer, or do you offer hybrid uh, uh, programs, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera, something like that. tell us. Absolutely, absolutely, Jenny. So, um, yes, and um, Australia is getting popular. I mean, we closed the borders for um, for three years, and finally mm -hmm. we are open, and we're welcoming all the students um, to come back to Australia. Indeed, um, just like Jenny said, um, there's a lot of a lot of students coming to Australia now to to, to work because uh, not many uh, countries where students where internationals uh, international students go and they're they are able to to work on a student visa, but Australia is definitely one of them. Um, at the current stage, um, Australian government um, allows international okay. students to work unlimited hours, but um, uh, with with the things slowly, slowly get, um, get back to um, the normal times, I, I reckon um, uh, it will soon be um, 40 hours per fortnight, but just with, but even just 40 hours per fortnight is, is, is still good enough because we have to understand that uh, the current unemployment rate in Australia is about 4%. And the minimum salary in this country is about 21 Australian dollars per hour. So if you convert that much of money into um, Filipino pesos, that gives you about 800 pesos per hour. So it's, it's, it's great, it's definitely great. Yeah, yes. it is eight hundred per hour. Imagine if they are allowed. They say they're going to work like four hours a day, so that's three thousand two hundred a day. That's a big Absolutely. money. And yeah, and as, as far as I know, also Mr. Alex, uh, some of my friends are telling me, especially mm. in in Australia, I think getting a job is easier than looking for an accommodation so it means yeah absolutely yeah that's, that's correct that's correct that's that's, that's, correct. that's, that's totally the truth yeah. Jim, that's totally the truth yes um so like i said um um the overall unemployment rate in this country in australia now we're looking at 3.8 you've to 4.2 so around four percent depending on where you live in australia yes um so i just say as um as long as you want to work you want to have a job you will certainly get a job um, but accommodation now is a, is a problem because there's so many people uh, coming to Australia now and we just opened and also the housing prices are going up. So not people um, at the current stage, they're, they're willing to, um, to rent um, their rooms because they're waiting for the prices to go up uh, a bit and, and they sell. So just like you said, uh, finding a job in Australia is not is not um, difficult at all. But finding a com accommodation now um, is quite hard. So my advice to um, to our students who are watching this live um, is, uh, if you have the slightest intention of coming to Australia, you better start planning now, and you better have some ideas um, first. Yes. Okay. Uh, anyway, guys, I, I know everybody are really excited now with your presentation, but just that, another information I'd like to share. Uh, EIWT is actually located in Perth. Okay. Yes. And, I, and I'd like to share this. If you can still remember <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. Perth, guys, is actually like uh, you said, is it four hours or six hours away from Sydney? So this is like a, 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 in the province area, mm. but this is a city in, in, in that province, okay? So it means that when it comes to employment, it's not yet that saturated. Uh, that's why the location is really good. But I, I'm sure Mr. Alex will go and share more yeah. information about that. So, sir, if your presentation is ready, uh, feel free to yeah. share now so that we can we can also share it to everyone. So Absolutely. while we're waiting, guys, for the presentation, so our viewers, 
Again, I'm reminding you guys, so please help us share our Facebook Live. Tag your friends, especially those who would like to move to Australia, okay, study in Australia, uh, work in Australia, and bring your family in Australia. This is a very good uh, Facebook Live for all of you guys, please. Now, if you've been to our offices or you already have our free assessment and consultation, if there are some more clarification that you wanted to clear out today, then Mr. Alex Alex Wang is here to give you answer, okay? So I think the screen is ready. So Sir Alex, I am going to give you the screen. I'll be back after your presentation, okay? Yes, absolutely. Right. So, uh, okay, let me see how do I... Um, okay, so... Um, a very good afternoon to everyone who um, who is watching this live session with the Visa Center and the AWT. So with today's session, I'm going to give you guys a brief idea uh, about Perth, about studying in Perth and studying um, at AWT. So just like Junior said um, just now, so AWT, we are located in the city of Perth. Um, Perth is called the sunniest capital city in Australia. Um, throughout 365 days in a year, Perth, we have about over 300 days, uh, uh, sunny days in, in, um, in one year of time. And um, also, we're now experiencing um, the lowest unemployment rates uh, among all Australian cities. So in Perth now, um, the unemployment rate is 3.3%. So that's, it's about 5, um, 0.5%. Than the, um, than the country's average at the moment. And in terms of salary, Perth actually has the highest the medium of salary. We're looking at somewhere around 60,000 uh, Australian to 62,000 um, Australian dollars. So just to give you guys a quick um, calculation, so one Australian dollars, dollar is, um, is about 38 to 40 uh, Filipino pesos. So if you can make, um, Sixty thousand um, Australian dollars a year, so that's um, that's about oh, wow, I don't know, that's about like over two million pesos. So, and in terms of living costs, Perth is one of one of the um, cities with the lowest cost of living. Um, in terms of um, rent, we're looking at two hundred to two fifty per week. In terms of the transportation. Um, that's gonna cost you about fifty to hundred dollars a um, uh, a month, um, depending on where you live. So it's 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 really really cheap. And and also one of the perks of being an international student in Perth is that you have a lot of lot a lot of lot of stuff um, on student concession, which is something that you may not be able to get um, if you go to um, eastern states um, like Sydney or Melbourne. And one more thing is worth mentioning is that Perth is actually in the same time zone as the Philippines. So when you guys come to Perth, you have, you have no problem adjusting your time because there's no time difference. And also from next year, March onwards, there'll be a direct flight from Perth to um, Manila City. With the direct flight, um, it only takes about six hours um, from Perth um, to Manila um, CBD areas. Um, one thing is really exciting, and I, and I guess a lot of you guys um, are quite interested in finding out is your visa is your um, visa options, or to be more specific, your migration options um, towards Australia. So um, I'll leave the details to the visa center team to answer, but just give you guys a bit of um, a general idea. Uh, what it is about and how good the situation has become um, in Perth and also uh, in, in the Western Australian state that Perth is in, is that with this financial year, Perth has been given um, with 5,000 other places for 190 visa applications and 2,000, almost 3,000 places for 491 uh, visa applications. So for people who don't understand these visa, uh, these visa subclasses, um, the only thing you have to remember is that uh, uh, both visas, um, in actually the 190 visa is a permanent residence, residency visas, 
and 491 is a transition visa leading to um, um, the, part, the permanent res residency visa 191 application. So in a city um, of just over 2 million people, so Perth actually has um, almost uh, 8,000 places um, for PR uh, applications a year. So in terms of um, population versus um, quota ratio, we're actually ranked number one in the whole Australia. And also Western Australia was the first state to clear all the quota um, allocated in the financial year of 2021 to 2022. And with our state's nomination um, process, there are actually over 300 occupations available um, for state nomination application. And um, bit of just also a bit of information about AWT, what we are, what do we do? So basically AWT is located in Perth, Western Australia. We have been um, in this industry for almost 20 years. Next year, February, it, it will be our 20th anniversary. Uh, we, uh, we are very um, proud that um, we have been in, in this industry for almost two decades. And we have a lot of, um, of courses to offer, um, which includes um, School of Real Estate, um, School of Business, School of Workout Safety, School of Education and Community Services, and the School of Language. So <clears throat> to give you guys a bit of more information about the courses we offer, the first one, School of Real, of Real Estate. So that's for students who want to um, work as a property manager or as a salesperson in Australia. And um, one thing about being a property manager um, in Australia, in, especially in Western Australia, is that um, in Western Australia, even you are on a student visa, you are able to work as a property manager, uh, which is something that you don't get if you study the, the, the same course in Sydney and in Melbourne. Is because according to the local regulations, um, um, international students cannot practice as property managers because they're holding a student visa. But that's not the case in Western Australia. Is because um, we allow international students to practice um, even they're not permanent residents yet. We also have School of Business available all the way from Surf 4 to the Advanced Diploma of Leadership Man Management. Um, this course is a, is very flexible. Whatever backgrounds um, you guys are coming from, you can link with the course because it's a business course and um, it's, it's also a good foundation course if you are, if you are also thinking um, to go to um, uh, higher education in Australia. It's because upon the completion of our Diploma of Leadership Management course or even the Advanced Diploma of Leadership Management course, you are able to get um, up to one year of um, Australian year university year one accreditation. Uh, so we understand that in Australia, one year of higher education costs about $28,000 to $35,000, depending on the course you study. But if you study this course, uh, which is about $8,000, so technically you are, uh, you are going to save just $20,000 just to skip the first year of um, of a university. Next, we have our School of Work Health and Safety. So this one is um, is highly in demand um, for um, for people who are working in the industry of mining, construction, and nursing. So in Western Australia, we know that we produce sixty percent of the country's iron and gold. So there's so many mining uh, mining industries um, in the Western Australia states. So um, the demand is huge for this um, occupation and also the starting salary is very significant as well. So for the starting salary in this school, uh, in this workout safety and um, roles, we're looking at $56,000 to $62,000 a year. Next one, we have Sir 3 plus Diploma of Early Childhood Education and Care. So these courses are for students who are um, who want to work in childcare centers and looking after um, babies and toddlers. Um, one of the best things about this course is that 
upon the completion of this third three plus diploma of early childhood education and care, um, students are able to apply um, for the graduate work visa on the GW stream. So with this work visa, you're able to stay in Australia now for, um, for two years to work and to, um, uh, and to prepare for your uh, uh, permanent uh, residency application. Next one, we have our third three in individual support, Diploma of Community Services and the Advanced Diploma of Community Sector Management. So these three courses are linked together. Um, it's for people who want to have a career in the community services sector. Um, a good thing uh, worth mentioning is that um, the occupation of um, community services worker is actually on our state nomination list and it's very, very hot. So students with this occupation are getting in, uh, invited monthly. So um, the course is definitely um, taking, um, taking up um, the popularity um, from the international market. Next one, we have our School of Language. Uh, um, that's for people who want to become a professional interpreters or translators uh, in Australia. So um, unfortunately, these courses are only available now in the language of Mandarin and Arabic. So if you happen to speak um, either of the languages, uh, you are more than welcome to apply for these courses. And again, both courses are on our state nomination list at the moment. So why choose AWT? Um, the first point um, would be unique learning environment. Um, at AWT, as you guys can tell from the photo next next to, 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 to all these points, is that we are a very diverse community. We have about 35 to 39 different uh, countries where students are coming from. We do not have a dominant market. It's because we tend to uh, would like to div diversify um, our um, student, su students as, as much as possible. And also uh, at AWT, we're having a very healthy um, domestic uh, versus international student ratio. We have about 50% domestic and 50% international students. Um, this is something that international students may not be uh, able to, um, to get if, you go to, if, if, if they come to other private um, providers because um, they uh, because others really really focus very much on the just the international market so we also have domestic markets and we also believe with this structure international students uh, will will find their ways of uh, fitting into the local community easier um, also a lot of our courses are placement embedded that means to be able to be able to graduate from um, the course you applied, for example, the early childhood education and care, you will have to finish your placement. Uh, so that's internship um, before uh, uh, first. So, and the, the internship, the placement is, is AWT's responsibility to find. So we'll give you free internship. And sometimes if you do really, really well, um, the internship tends to be paid internship by the childcare centers. And just to give you guys um, some basic stats, um, on our from our annual reports, there's um, over 85% of our domestic and international students from community services and early childhood education and care are able to find a job before they finish the course. So able to find a proper contract even the, even before they finish the course. That's how demanding the course, um, um, demanding the course, um, uh, that's how, uh, that's how much the demand there is in the market. Um, next, we have a lot of in um, student events. Uh, wherever you come from, where, um, whatever culture you come from, or we tend to accommodate um, to everyone. Uh, we do not discriminate um, anyone on campus. So uh, we tend to have a cultural events for different race and a different nationality. Also, um, in terms of in terms of our location, we're just uh, two kilometer uh, from Perth CBD, so just two bus stops away. So if you prefer walking, it's just five to eight minute walk. Um, next, we also have flexible learning and support schemes. Um, that means um, 
uh, our in terms of in terms of um, our uh, learning methods uh, according to the students' needs. Um, sometimes we're able to provide extra help if students they feel like they're not um, they they're not learning much uh, yet in class. And if they need extra support, our trainers are always there to give them extra support. Um, also, our fees are not are, are not expensive, quite affordable. We're actually one of the cheapest providers in in in, in Perth, uh, Western Australia. And in terms of payments, we actually take installments. So we do not expect students to clear all the fees um, before they come to AWT. Um, here's, this, here's some testimonials given by our students. The first one is given by Queensland Burke. Um, so Noberto is, um, has been a lovely, lovely student that AWT has ever had. So he came to us when he was about um, 20, 23. He arrived in um, when he was 22. So he was one of the very few male students in our early childhood education and care classes. And he was very well loved, like much loved by all the girls in, in, in the class, as you imagine. So he did exceptionally well uh, for the course and also for the internship. So um, soon after uh, he finished the, co uh, the course, he was immediately sponsored by one of the biggest childcare centers here in, in Western Australia. So for him, the migration pathway was really, really straightforward. Uh, but of course, all the credit goes to Norberto. He was exceptionally uh, fantastic. Um, um, he was he was um, pretty much excelling in every in every ass, um, assignment, and um, and we were really really lucky to have him. And um, this one, Gemma. Uh, so Gemma did. Um, community services with us. Um, she did diploma of community services uh, as well as advanced diploma of community sector management. So also he came to us when he was about like 22, 23 years old. Um, after he did, after she did um, community services, she worked in, in the field for one year to fulfill the skills assessment um, criteria. So soon after she did um, the, um, the one year, the one year job, she was immediately um, invited for 190 PR application. So now um, she she's not working the community services industry anymore. Indeed, she's actually working at AWT. She's one of our staff. She's our rece receptionist and a part and uh, and um, a team a team member of our students' services. Um, next one, we have um, Senia. So originally she was from Russia, but uh, she studied and lived in China for about six years. So when she came to us, she um, already spoke um, really, really good Chinese. So she did interpreting with us um, uh, for one year. Then after the course, uh, she, um, she, 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 met, she met the other half then she decided to uh, to get on a, a partner visa in Australia. So last time I checked, I think she already got her partner visa. So now I think she's um, she, she most likely she would have got her um, PR already. And um, one thing wor um, worth man uh, mentioning is that uh, uh, this course, interpreting and the translate and the translation, um, has just been put uh, onto the state nomination uh, two months ago. So if you guys study this course, interpreting and the translation, um, you are also um, eligible to apply for the state nomination. Um, this is something from our industry partner um, at AWT. Um, like I said, we do not just focus on the international market. We also um, have a lot of international domestic students. So that's why uh, our domestic um, local connections are very, very strong, um, which also allows us to provide placement internship opportunities for all our international students. And this Lily, this Lily Chong lady is the head of IQI um, WA. So IQ, for people who don't know, IQI is a listed um, Australian real estate company um, based in Perth. So they are one of our business partners. They take our 
real estate students uh, for internship opportunities. Um, and uh, also the property manager, which uh, comes out of uh, our real estate course, is also available now for Western Australia state nomination. So um, for people who are watching this live, uh, we have a special uh, event um, promotion at the moment. Uh, if you are watching this live and if, if you decided to come come and study um, at IWT, then um, we are going to give you fifty one fifty dollars um, course voucher uh, upon um, your successful enrollment with the Visa Center, of course. Okay, so that was me. I hope I didn't uh, take too much time, and uh, and I hope um, that was informative. So, for any questions, please just um, let me know. Okay, so I, you can hear me now. Yes. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, sir, for the presentation, uh, especially for all the programs that you're offering. I believe, aside from you mentioned that um, after graduation, uh, they are the one in demands for uh, jobs, especially in Australia. But uh, there are some already questions coming from our viewers and I have some prepared questions also. So shall we start with our viewer? Uh, we have here Ramil Piluton uh, Lasherda. Hello, good morning. How to apply? Currently, me and my wife here in Kuwait watching the vlog. Uh, okay, so Romil, uh, even though you are in Kuwait, you can actually start uh, applying online. So we have so many applicants coming from different uh, Middle East country. Uh, okay, wait, because the logo is overlapping already. So all you need to do is contact us uh, to whatever page you are watching right now. Uh, you can directly message them or we have our ticker below. You can send your updated CV or you can message us on WhatsApp so that we can schedule your free assessment and consultation, okay? All right, so Sir Alex, so let's proceed with our uh, common questions for everyone. So you mentioned earlier that your tuition fee is uh, affordable, but normally how much is the range? For example, let's cite an example because everyone loves this program. Let's say early education, uh, early childhood education and, and care. Mm. How much will be the, 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 the tuition for that? That's um, that's a great question. So um, for Sir 3 plus Diploma of Early Childhood Education and Care, uh, we are looking at $18,000 for two years. Mm. So for the Sir 3 it's $7,970, 7970 For the um, Diploma one, that's um, 9790 so um, both courses have um, have um, come with um, four hundred ninety five dollars as material fees, and also uh, on top of that, there's two hundred fifty dollars um, as application fees, of course. So altogether, uh, it's about eighteen thousand dollars for two years. Okay, how about insurance? Because I understand it is also a requirement for traveler uh, to have their insurance uh, going to Australia. Uh, is that included in the tuition already, or it will be a separate payment? It's not included, um, but in terms of insurance, um, it's not too much of a cost. Um, there are so many providers at the moment. Um, from monthly, from forty, it's about forty to fifty dollars a month. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's that's good mm. to know. It, at least mm. it's not that expensive. Now, talking about money, I'm sure everyone is watching right now. Uh, they're mm. really interested because you know. I, I really love the the, the first uh, what it is uh, school that you mentioned school of real estate, right? So I, I wanted to just highlight a little bit about that because we understand, guys, for our viewers, especially those who are working abroad or you are in the Philippines and you have this career right now and you wanted to have a better profile, maybe then uh, their courses for real estate is really great. It's because Aside from you're going to study, you will also get to experience, let's say, working in Australia for a real estate company. So imagine if you're going back in the Philippines 
and you have that background already. So you're really bankable when it comes to that position. So we're calling the attention of everyone. This is a new uh, program that we actually announce here on Facebook. So ito guys, lahat ng mga sales. We know if you are working in sales industry, nandun ang money, correct? So you get more money because the, the, the salary there is unlimited for as long as you are really that hard working. So that's now, actually correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so can you discuss more about, that? I mean, I, I understand we discussed it in person when you visited here like last week, I guess. And mm -hmm. What are the, the, the other benefits of our, let's say, all the students of, EI, uh, of uh, EIWT studying under School of Real Estate? So you, you okay. will be the one providing them uh, this employment mm -hmm. afterwards or you have already a company like waiting for these graduates to uh, to work. Yes. So just like Junior says, so it's one of the really, really special courses that people do not come across that often. And indeed, AWT is the only provider for this course throughout the whole Western Australia states. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're the only provider for this course. And second, also just like Junior says, if you have passion in this in, in in sales or you have experience in the sales or even you have you want to build a proper career in this industry of real estate so this course is a fantastic choice um just like i said um one of the except um <clears throat> exceptions here is that uh, in western australia students international students are able to work but in other states international students are not able to work as a property manager or salesperson is because the local rules do not allow them. So in the past, that was also the same. That was the same case in Western Australia, but we've recently changed. And just to give you guys um, some uh, background information about how lucrative this career can actually be, you see there are two streams. Yeah, lucrative in terms of uh, profession, and at the same time, mm. lucrative in terms of money. Correct? Yes. So in terms of profession, uh, professions, you have a property manager, you have a sales pers person. So sales person, that's representative. So that's, that's for people who want to sell houses in Australia. So for example, um, the me the medium price for Perth housing now is about seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, and if you are able to make a sale, so it's when um, the market rate is about three to four point five percent but let's just say let's just say four percent so okay seven seven hundred fifty thousand dollars with four percent that's 30 grand that's a thirty thousand australian dollars so this, this is, is very interesting i mean we, we understand sir that let's say um uh in in the show let's say you're, you'll just be working for let's say 40 hours per week but here, there's no limitation of how much you're going to earn, correct? Uh, exactly. Uh, no. Yeah. There's, there's no limitation um, on how much you are supposed to make. It's just in terms of hours, mm -hmm. right? You, are, you 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 can only work forty hours per phone, twenty hours and um, sorry, twenty hours a week. But there's no limitation. So if if you can make a sale of a of, of a house or or at least you you become a part of it not just the whole commission maybe just some of the commission is still good enough and uh if you don't want to sell house in australia if you want to just be um managing uh, the property the property leases utility bills and stuff as in property manager the starting salary as a property manager in perth now is a fifty five thousand dollars a year so it's great it's absolutely great so and one thing I just forgot to mention is that you see, this school of real estate we have actually has two courses. One is a surf four in real estate practice. The other one is diploma of property. Students they do not have to study until the diploma of property to be able to practice. The surf four yeah. is all they need in terms of um, getting the, the the registration for sales rep and for property manager. So after surf four completion, they're able to practice. So they can literally use the second year of Australian studies to work and study at the same time. And hopefully with um, the money they're making on the second course, it will make up how much they're paying for the, for their tuition fees. 
Okay, so the, 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 the best question now is, uh, how about the qualification? Who are you going to allow, let's say, to approve, to apply for this course? I mean, how about those? I understand if, if they have background in real estate, for sure, they are qualified for that. But how about those who don't have? Are they still okay to apply for this program? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's because, you see, um, according to the Department of Education, um, they do not um, discriminate um, the students' backgrounds. But, of course, um, the visa center is a better um, person for me to answer is because uh, when we check when we check students' backgrounds, we also have to um, we also have to check their GT statement. So it's I, I think it's it's um, it's more important um, for them to get a, a, a student visa. Um, so I'd say uh, we're looking into the case um, when we when we have it, but. Generally speaking, we do not discriminate whatever um, backgrounds the students coming from for, for, for this course. But just uh, with different um, backgrounds, um, the chances of getting a student visa uh, could be could be also different as well. Mm. Okay. All right. So, guys, for our viewers, uh, this is actually what's good about EIWP is that most of their, their programs offering, actually, guys, is there's this guarantee that these industries are the one giving us a good salary. Another good example is your work and uh, work health and safety. So mm. in this sense, based on my experience in Dubai, those who have certification or dipl diploma under this industry, actually they're receiving big salary. And uh, it also my viewers po natin, again, I, I'll speak uh, in Tagalog. So guys, this is your opportunity. Maybe if you wanted to they say learn a new skills and, and join a new industry, then uh, I think you have to go to Australia and study in EIWP because most of the, the, the schools that they have, they say school for business. So everybody, they say it's for OFW or Filipino working abroad. Of course, they are tired of working as an employee, so they really wanted to open their own business. And it is better that you actually gain a diploma from Australia. Then second, your uh, education and community services, which is I mentioned already earlier, and plus the school of language, which, which is, I, I know very few are interested of becoming an interpreter. But the question now is, you see, sir, I'm now interested. How much money do I have to pay first as an initial payment so that I can just proceed with my uh, enrollment or my application? <clears throat> so um, that's, so pay for 18, yeah, that, right that's away. really important. So, um, at the IWT, we do not take the full payment um, at, mm -hmm. at the start. Uh, indeed, we instead we only take um, the first term's tuition fee from only the first first course. So let's say if a student if a student applies for two courses together, um, each course is of one year duration, uh, which is four terms. So we only take the first term tuition fees from the first course. Um, in, in, in the case of a three plus diploma of early childhood education and care, together that's $18,000 more or less, we only take about $2,500 um, as mm. deposit. Mm. Okay. All right, guys, so that's good news, okay? Uh, I, I'm sure everybody are a little uh, worried earlier because you mentioned uh, around 18000 Australian dollar. But it okay, so just to give you a comparison, 18000 uh, Australian dollar, uh, tuition fee is actually very affordable compared to other mm. schools in Australia because there are some schools offering like 24 or mm. higher than that. So they are located in Perth again. Uh, as per the presentation, there are some ways that you can actually apply later on for a permanent residency because of the location itself. Second, uh, they are located uh, we're in a place which is not that saturated yet when it comes to employment. And mm. the percentage of unemployed, okay, uh, population in Perth is very low. So it means that it is guaranteed, guys, you know, that you can actually get a job. So now, mm. Sir Alex, the next question is, actually, I have a lot of questions for you. That's <laughs> so, okay. That's okay. You go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's discuss about uh, what it is. Uh, if they are going to study in Australia, uh, for example, they don't have any relatives or friends, okay? Because uh, I mentioned that, you know, looking for a job is actually easier than getting a, an accommodation. 
So mm. what is your student support when it comes to accommodation? Do you provide accommodation inside the campus or do you uh, like offer outside partnership maybe uh, for, for the accommodations? Okay, that's that's a very important question, I guess. So if you come to Australia and you find yourself nowhere to live, what are you gonna do? So you better want to you better want to sort this out first. So um, at the moment, uh, at WT, we do not have um, on campus housing, unfortunately. But because of the real estate courses that we are providing, so we are working with a lot of real estate companies here in Perth, um, Western Australia. Um, I just say about. 23 to 28 different companies that we're working with and a lot of those companies actually all of those companies all of them they have um um they have um um, um leases so uh, so when students they need help in finding accommodation we'll refer them to um to to any of those real, real estate companies so that's one solution second uh, is we also working with local accommodation services uh, company like the Campus Perth um, Switch and the student, the student housing company. So there, there are student accommodation services providers. So they also have um, rooms available. So that's the second choice. Uh, third one is because we have students, we have hundreds of students on campus every day. So we ask students if they have empty rooms available as well within our staff so so far i know it's becoming more and more challenging because accommodation it's it's really really in high demand but so far we never had a big problem uh with finding um accommodation for our students yet mm -hmm. okay so now uh, we discussed already about the the money then the uh the accommodation now let's move to your uh schedules of classes so, because we understand that international students in Australia, they're allowed to work part time. So, Correct. how many days, normally for all of your programs, how many days are they going to, to go to school and study? Or do you have also like schedule that they will just be studying <coughs> online? Uh, can you tell us about that? Okay, that's 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 a very good question. So, um, unfortunately, <coughs> uh, international students will not be able to study online anymore uh, after uh, first. So it's all face to face now. Yes, so um, that's according to the Department of Education. So we will all have to go back uh, to face to face. Actually, AWT has always been face to face, uh, even with the COVID times, because we have been really, really, really careful uh, of um, of uh, um, of protecting our students. So we never really had any um, breakouts of COVID on campus. Um, so i guess first question students will have to study face to face on campus second um how many days of a class two to three days uh, in a okay. week so most classes are just two days so you guys will have about two um another two and three days to work um in in, in the weekdays but of course the weekends you can also work hmm. mm -hmm. okay so that's very good so mostly are two days and there are some programs that require three days in a week so it means mm. guys if two days, it means that you have five days to focus on your work and then you have two days to focus on your studies because you really need to to uh well, just to finish your study there okay mm. then now the question is every term how many months is uh or semester in a year so that at least they will have an idea if how many semester will break that they will be working full time yeah you're asking all the important questions Jeannie. that's a very good question so <laughs> so most of the courses we have um are of one year duration and we break them down into four different terms um so <clears throat> each term is of 10 study weeks so each term is uh, four terms each term is 10 weeks um and in between two terms students yeah. get um two weeks of holiday and in between the last term of the year um, and the first term of the following year, for example, this this week, this week is actually our last week of um, of term four uh, in 2022. So uh, and our term one 2023 uh, only starts on the 31st January. So students have about six weeks break. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So uh, I think uh, we are already satisfied with all the information that we learned. So to our viewers, guys, again, all you need to do is to start availing our free assessment and consultation. Okay. We wanted to check your profile, whatever pathway is perfect for you. Okay. We will be uh, advising you to do that, of course. But some of our applicants actually would prefer to go to Australia and become a student first. Because what's good about that is, you know, it will get you actually a higher points with your PR application later on. Because if you have diploma uh, from Canada, uh, from Australia, then that's a additional point. And then after you graduated, you are actually allowed to stay for maybe one year or two years in Australia. So you can actually gain full-time job experience. And that also help you later on with your, your permanent, uh, per, uh, permanent residency application as well. Or... Since these uh, industries are really in demand in Australia, maybe some of the employer, uh, like Mr. Alex mentioned, that they might go to hire you and help you with your permanent residency, right? You have so, you have a lot, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sir, uh, just uh, our last question before we say goodbye. Uh, when is the next intake? So maybe our viewers will be interested now. So at least they can plan out if when they're going to resign or when they're going to start their application. So when is the best, uh, the next available intake that they can actually apply? So our next intake is 31st January 2023. And in terms of our um, uh, turnaround um, process in time, so if your application is is, is submitted by the visa center, uh, we'll, I will make sure that your application will be prioritized. You'll, you'll have a response from LWT admissions team within 48 business hours. So we'll, gi we'll give you a response uh, just in two business days. Um, so I'd say, but the current visa proce processing time uh, could be a bit longer at the moment. Uh, we are looking at three to four months, but if you're really lucky, you can actually get it in two months. Yeah. So I'd say uh, soon the better, but after our general intake, we have another one just uh, uh, in, in, in the middle of April. Mm okay yeah i think that sounds good because at least that will actually give them more time especially for our viewers who are working abroad at least you know they, they can have like one month notice and all but then guys again just a recap before we say goodbye to uh, sir alex so again guys going back to their tuition fees they have the most affordable tuition around eighteen thousand australian dollar but don't worry because you just be paying for the first term so just two thousand five hundred and to Correct. get to the all the yep. details yeah, again, uh, connect with the Visa Center and we'll be uh, uh, excited to, to meet you online and, and give you a proper assessment and consultation. So again, Sir Alex Wang, thank you so much for your time for joining us in our Facebook Live today. Have a nice... Thank you, uh, much, Judy. Thank, you. thank you for having me and uh, thank you everyone for, for watching um, the live session. Thank you. Mm. Okay. All right, so guys, that's the Business Relationship Coordinator of Australian Institute of Workplace Training in Perth, Australia. So maybe you men don't guys on the mention yung sa kanyang presentation, may mga visa type na minimension sa doon mga okay. So yun yung mga ilan sa mga pag-uusapan niyo kapag na-avail niyo na po ang aming free assessment and consultation. Kasi di ba, ito yung advantage kasi especially yung mga viewers natin na ang goal talaga nila that's the, the, the reason nila why they wanted to study in Australia is because for them to just be there right away because this is the fastest uh, uh, way talaga to enter Australia. Okay? Pero syempre, mas palaliman natin ang uh, pagiging international student sa Australia. Ayan, naghihintay sa ating screen, no? Ayan, si, si Daniel Bautista from the Visa Center, Bulacan. Hello, Sir Daniel. Kamusta? Hello, sir. Afternoon po. Okay lang po. Hi, sir. Kamusta po kayo? Ayan. Ito, guys, sa mga viewers natin, baka iniisip nyo po, uh, uh, high school pa lang po si Sir Daniel. Ayan. <laughs> uh, ano na po siya? Legal na po siya na magbigay po sa inyo ng, ng advice. Kasi sa mga viewers po natin, don't worry, isishare mamaya ni Daniel sa inyo, no, ang kanyang contact details if you wanted him to assist you ayan, sa inyong uh, application for becoming an international student in Australia. And kaya, ang nabayanan nyo yung kanyang contact details mamaya. Pero Daniel, ito muna, bago ang lahat, kasi syempre, napakaganda no, nung naging discussion natin with Sir Alex Wang presentation uh, for EIWT. Uh, 
Gusto ko lang natin malaman muna para sa mga viewers natin, anong haba yung mga kompleto, yung tell us more about the benefits of becoming an international student sa Australia. So yun nga sir, no? uh, once kasi na magkaroon tayo na... Uh, uh, pa palapit ng mic mo, para medyo... Once na magkaroon po tayo sir ng uh, diploma sa kahit sa school sa Australia, uh, marirecognize siya internationally. And magandang advantage yun, yung magagamit natin siya sa paghahanap ng employer. So yun, uh, yun kasi sir, magkakaroon tayo ng magandang bahay. Okay. Okay. So now, na nagtindihan na, na, natin, ano, ilang sa mga viewers natin are with family already. Ayan, uh, kasi siyempre, ang dami mga viewers natin na na-enjoy talaga nila yung mga benefits kapag nasa Canada. Diba? Pero now, we are going to compare it with the Australia side naman ng pagiging international student. So pwede ko rin ba isama ang aking asawa, ang aking anak, or common law partner going to Australia? Yes, sir. Pwede rin naman po, pero uh, hindi po wala pong uh, education sa Australia. Hindi po kagaya kay Canada na free education. So, we highly suggest no, uh, kahit hindi po muna natin isama yung inyong anak. Mas so, maganda po, sir, uh, isama muna natin yung partner natin. Dahil si partner is makakapag-work a limited number of months. Ayan. So, dagdag na information doon guys ha, sa mga audience natin. Uh, for example, if you are married, okay, you have your spouse, pwede po siyang sumama sa inyo doon, okay, habang naka-international student ka, eh, pwede siyang sumama doon and allow din po siyang magtrabaho uh, part-time. Okay, kung ano yung maximum allowed time na pwede sa iyo as an international uh, visa, yun din yung pwede niya uh, i-take then. Okay, so at least nagtatrabaho siya, pwede siya makatulong din sa pag-aaral mo at makapag-ibot kayo. ba? Diba? Kasi, uh, yun yung isang advantage. And to those who are watching na hindi po kasal, okay, common law partner lang kayo as of now. ba? Diba? Yung mga lead-in partner. Ayan. So Daniel, baka pwede mo nga bigyan ako ng dagdag na information dyan. Baka may mga viewers tayo, no, na mga, may mga partners na hindi pa sila kasal. Ano ba yung mga kailangan nilang uh, documents para lang ma-qualify as common law partner at maisama nila uh, habang nag-aaral sila sa Australia. So yun sir, uh, pwede po nilang ipakita, provide sa kanilang ng documents yung proof na talaga sila ay nagsasama sa isang bahay. May hmm. mga simple pictures lang po, like yung uh, anniversary nila, monthsary, birthday ng yung sino, yung sa po sa kanila, ganun po, pwede po natin isama sa documents. Para Ayun, makikaroon po ni ng immigration ng Australia. Yun po, mga patunayan po natin. Kahit hindi oh. po sila kasi. Para, para lalabas doon ano, na legit ang inyong relasyon. Yes. Diba? Kasi pwede kasi magpanggap lang eh. Yun yung iniwasan. Kaya nga, if you can provide itong mga uh, conjugal properties for example or if you're having the same uh, billings kunyari or lalo na kung may mga anak na kayo that's a very good uh, ano din, documents. So dito sinasabi dito ng ilang commenter natin, sabi ni Grace Aurelia, sabi niya, wow, very much interested, sir. Thank you so much, Grace. Kaya ito, at, 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 ang tabayanan nyo, isishare natin ang contact dito ni Daniel. And another comment from Guadalupe, Vicente, this is a very good question. Is there other option going to Australia aside from student visa? Yeah, sir Daniel, ano pa yung mga option nila aside from pagiging uh, student? Ayun po, uh, pwede po tayo, pwede po rin, pwede rin po tayo mag uh, apply no? direct permanent po no? kay Australia or yung tiyatawag po natin uh, GSN or yung General Skilled Migration uh -huh. na kung saan po, no? i-check po yung ating points kung qualified po tayo to apply directly So kung okay. po yung sa, sa, sa age, itignan po yun So mas bata po, mas, ma, mas malaki yung chance na ma-apply or maka-direct po tayo kay Australia. Ayan. Okay, Miss Guadalupe, ayan, so kung ayaw mo na pong mag-aaral, meron naman po tayong option, yun nga sabi ni Daniel, we have uh, yung GSM or pwede ka na mag-apply directly for permanent residency doon. So, ang dami pong mga programs, so, no, maraming visa type, na pwede pong i-check ng team namin kung saan ka po pwede. Okay, so again, ulitin natin, we are offering free assessment and consultation. Kaya uh, wag po kayong uh, mahihiya, okay, Kung saan man po kayong page na nanonood ngayon kasi we are live, nakasimulcast ang ating Facebook live to our different uh, Philippine branches and also in uh, Abu Dhabi and in Dubai. At saka syempre nakalive din tayo sa ating YouTube channel. Ayan. So, 
feel free po to ask question uh dyan po sa ating video if either it's either you are watching guys na hindi na po live I suggest to directly message po ang Facebook page natin. Okay, so Daniel, may meron pa tayong promo kasi syempre, di ba, Christmas season na, di ba? Yan. Tsaka Daniel, yung gift ko sa 20, uh, asahan ko na lang po yun. Yes, sir. Gift ko ako, sangsako. Ay, sangsako, grabe. Ito guys, syempre sa mga viewers natin, ayan, pakishare naman, we have ongoing promotion ba? Para sa mga interesadong humabol, kasi I understand, yan sa mga viewers natin malamang natanggap na nila ang 13th pay, no? So I think the best investment na pwede nilang ibigay is itong investment nila for their future to be in Australia or to be in Canada. So yes. ano yung promo natin? Ayun. So ngayon yung December po, meron po tayong promo. Uh, 40% po sa processing fees. Mm -hmm. So uh, ang maganda po dito, kahit uh, bayaran po muna natin yung processing fees. And syempre sir, ano naman ngayon eh, yun yung magpapas kung magpapagod ka or medyo maraming gastusin. Pero if uh, yung mga client natin, kung gusto nila ma-secure yung promo, yun po, pwede po nilang isettle. Pwede na po sila mag-settle ng 54,000 to, uh, to lock in po with our uh, biggest uh, promo. And kahit next year na po, natin i-process yung kanilang uh, application kung hindi po sila nagmamadali. Pero kung may habol po tayong uh, in, uh, intakes, Uh, we highly suggest po na dapat po ready na po lahat ng kanilang documents. Kasi malaki yun ha, 40% discount ang ibibigay ng the visa center sa inyo. Pero take note, okay, only to our first 30 client. Okay, so ngayon asahan natin, I'm sure ilang slot na lang po yan. Kaya kung ako po sa inyo, directly message us now, i-avail nyo na po yan. Okay, para po ma makatipid kayo okay, sa inyong uh, processing fee. Uh, from the visa center. At saka syempre, don't worry po kasi there are some schools na meron kami. Uh, hindi lang po EIWT ha. We have so many school partners in Australia. Okay, uh, they are located in different locations. Kasi we understand, Daniel, no? may mga ilang mga applicants talaga tayo. But we would prefer to be studying in an area na kung saan may kamag-anak sila doon o may best friend sila doon. Kasi para, alam mo yun, iba pa rin yung nasa so, upod ka na. Diba? Kasi pag may kamag-anak na po, ano eh, yun yung accommodation. Oo, true. Pwede mag-share na lang po. Pwede mag-share na lang po sila. Maliba sa pag-share, baka libre mo na yung unang buwan mo, di ba? Opo. Kung kasundo mo naman talaga yung kamag-anak mo din, sir. Oo. Okay. Ito, Daniel, kaya pa ulit-ulit natin sinasabi sa mga viewers natin na we are offering free assessment and consultation. So, Daniel, paki-explain naman sa mga viewers natin, ano ba ang nangyayari sa loob ng assessment and consultation na yan? Para at least may idea sila, baka mamaya kailangan ko ba ng CV ko, kailangan ba na, uh, uh, tawag nito, uh, ano yung mga kailangan ko i-ready, may mga ganun ba, at ano yung mga pwedeng napag-uusapan during assessment and consultation. So, first step po natin, no, we need to check po muna yung inyong resume para po malaman namin kung ano yung best program para sa inyo. Mm -hmm. Yun nga po, dahil meron po tayong uh, dalawang type na program So, yun po, uh, once na uh, ma-check na po namin or ma-assess na po namin yung inyong uh, resume, doon na po tayo mag-focusin. I-schedule po natin yung free consultation via Zoom. So, i-discuss po namin yung benefits and advantage. Uh, para po, uh, ma-visualize nyo rin lahat-lahat. Pati po yung, kung paano po yung magiging flow ng inyong, uh, flow po ng process ng inyong application, ipapakita rin po namin. Para po, uh, aware po tayo or aware po yung mga clients natin. Okay, so that's very good guys ha. Ito yung kagandahan sa The Visa Center. I mean, para sa mga viewers natin na nakatutok pa din sa atin. Uh, the Visa Center is owned by a Filipino. Okay? So yung advantage po dito is that nandito po ang The Visa Center, katulad nila Daniel, uh, nandito sila, nandito tayo, okay, to give you a, a, a proper advice, okay, na let's say bakit ito yung in-offer namin, bakit maganda to para sa inyo, and bakit magandang investment po ito. Okay. So, uh, during assessment and consultation, guys, ha, baka yung iba kasi may trauma na, Daniel. Baka mamaya, ah, baka pilitin nyo lang kami na, ala yun, no, na mag-apply dyan, etc., etc. Hindi po ganun ang database center, ha. During assessment and consultation po, ang ginagawa lang po ng team namin dyan is to give you a proper, uh, what it is, uh, advice, okay, proper information. Di ba kasi, uh, ang nakakatuwa kasi, sa karamihan sa mga nag-avail lang po ng aming assessment and consultation, 
they are not aware na super qualified pala sila. They are not aware na hindi pala ganun karaming requirements naman ang kailangan i-submit. Hindi sila aware na okay lang naman pala na hindi na kailangan pumunta sa office ng the visa center. Kasi we have viewers from Singapore, we have viewers from Japan, from Taiwan kanina may nanonood. So guys, you don't have to come to our office and visit us. Kasi po, yung process naman natin are all online. Pero syempre, kami, di ba kami tayo, Daniel, no? we, we encourage you, if you happen to be near to our offices, mas magandang pumunta kayo. Kasi iba pa rin yung alam yun, yung um, napag-uusapan talaga ng harapan at nakikilala nyo rin yung mga consultant natin. Kasi like si Daniel, mukhang di ba maliit na tao siya, pero super po yan sa personal. <laughs> Hindi pala. Sino ba yun? Si Elmer ba yun? Si Elmer po. Okay. Okay. So ito na sa mga viewers natin. Ito, Daniel, pakishare naman ang yung contact details. Ayan, para sa mga viewers natin. Ayan, I think ilagay na dito. Ayan, kung gusto ko nila maging consultant, kaila. Ayan, pa-share na. Ayan po. Uh, you can send your uh, resume po at my email. Daniel Henry at Lisa Sente. That evening. And also, you can uh, contact us. Uh, plus 639-6027-07921. Ayan. At saka syempre, ito na guys, mag-jump na tayo. Ito binabanggit natin kanina. Uh, you can visit our offices if you, if you are just near the area. So I'm gonna start with our Dubai office. Nasa office 101 and 102 kaya kami. Okay, that's in PQ Building, Bank Street, Port Dubai, Burjuman. Diyan po sa Dubai, malapit po yan sa Burjuman Metro Station. Tawag po kayo sa plus 971-5248-02139. Or kung nasa capital naman kayo ng UAE, which is ang uh, Abu Dhabi, nasa Millennium Tower, Office 901, Hamdan Street, Abu Dhabi, sa United Arab Emirates. Tawag kayo sa plus 97126-263500. So ano lang po yan, kaharap po yan ng Jollibee. Okay? So ito naman, Daniel, pa-share naman ang office nyo dyan sa Bulacan. Yes po, and we are located po, third floor ANL building. In landmark po is a field health office. 53 Governor F. Halili Avenue, Barangay Bagbagin, Santa Maria, Bulacan. And also, um, you can contact us po anytime. Dito po sa uh, plus 63969-5755-818. Ayan, at saka syempre idamay mo ng ating Nueva uh, Ecija. Uh, and also, we have branch po sa Nueva Ecija. So, located po siya sa... Uh, second floor, GC Ramirez Building, Maharlika Highway, San Vicente, Gapan City, Nueva Ecija, Philippines. And pwede rin po silang tawagan dito po sa plus 6344331565. Ayan, at saka syempre guys, itong good news sa dalawa po ang branch natin dyan. Okay, go ahead Daniel, may, may isa pa. And, yeah, meron rin po sa uh, Cabiao, Nueva Ecija, and located po siya sa second floor, Crespo Building, San Juan South, Cabiao, Nueva Ecija, Philippines. And sa contact details naman po, 6 plus, sorry, plus 6, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 6, 0, 0, 7. Ayan, at saka syempre sa mga viewers natin na nasa Batangas, nasa third floor po tayo ng Michelle Building, General Luna, Sabang, Lipa City, Batangas. Ayan, katabi po yan ng malaking pure gold dyan po sa Lipa. Okay, tawag po kayo sa... Plus 6343-723-5618. Ayan, meron din silang cellphone. Plus 6396-338-55416. At saka syempre, sa lahat ng mga taga-Kagayan Valley, ayan, meron po tayo dyan sa Santa, uh, sa Isabela, nasa room 314B, third floor heritage building, Maharlika Highway, Malvar, Santiago City, Isabela. Tawag po kayo sa 078 Three two five three five nine four. Okay. So, maraming maraming salamat. Ang overtime na pala tayo lang pasan tayo ng isang oras. No, thank you so much, Daniel, for time. Nakasnap tayo ka the whole time. Kasi in case hindi ko kaya sa buten yung mga ilang discussion natin. So, regard sa lahat ng mga taga bulakan, ayan, tapi sa center bulakan, ito yung lahat na. So I think that's all. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the Visa Center Facebook Live and Q&A. And I hope you have the best Friday of your life and enjoy weekend tomorrow. Yes, yeah, salamat mga nag weekend day off, no? Yeah, enjoy nyo po yan. And of course, don't forget po to avail our, our, our promotion 
again, we are offering 30% discount. So thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, everyone, and God bless. Bye. Bye, Daniel. Bye, Sir Jimmy. There are several Filipinos who thinks that immigration is not for them. Pero bago mo sabihin na hindi para sa yong isang bagay, I think you should at least try and understand the process of immigration. I have to call the Visa Center right now. We offer processing of permanent residency and student visa applications for those who's moving to Australia, Canada, or New Zealand. They don't just tell you to go for it, they go with you through it. Starting from a very detailed assessment, processing of papers, up until you fulfill your immigration dreams. They offer a very flexible payment terms with non-expiry contracts and transferable applications. Marami na silang natulungang magtagumpay sa pangarap na mag-migrate. It's time to make yours happen right now.